Tribe, Tiana T. Yeah, that's me, and I'm back at it again with another reaction video. We got Queen in the building. We got a Queen ready to speak her truth, which we already pretty much know her truth at this point, but like, it's good to hear her take on it because I see the video long. It's going to be juicy, and let's get into it. and I'm sure from the title you can already tell it's gonna be a story time or something of that sort so first of all it's been a, a lot going on a lot going on I've been getting ready to drop my album um I've really been trying to just focus on that because this is a very big moment in my life um it's my debut album like this is my dream like this people is, always want to interrupt when you're doing good focus on it you know um and so I've been busy with that, but as you guys know, there's been some other things going on as well um, on the internet. Did she do like more lip injections? Because it looked like she did, and she don't need that. I don't know why she keeps doing that crap. And if you know, you know. Um, I wasn't going to come and make a video or say anything, because truthfully, if I ever came back to my channel, or when I came back to my channel, I wanted to just come refreshed and... I don't know. I just hate that, like, every time I come and do a video, I'm always, like, it's always something about some drama. But I always feel the need to, like, just tell my side of things just because when you don't, when you don't explain your side of the story to a situation, you give people more room to make assumptions that aren't true. As y'all know, it's been a, a whole situation um, with the exes going on. And the exes, they both the acting video. I watched it, and I'm gonna keep it 100% real with you guys. I felt bad, I really did. I didn't feel bad because I'm me guilty. too, Queen. All I'm of us did that she was insinuating that I did, but I felt bad because first of all, that's just how my heart is set up. Like, I, I, I don't know, like, I'm just super, super nice, and as a woman, like, I could feel. I could feel it like I, I could feel you know where she was coming from and I've been in a place like that before where you know I was heartbroken or like you know something like that I don't know if she she's still heartbroken but I, I don't know but I, I just feel like I wanted to come here and just basically give you guys my point of view of things because I feel like in a way my character could be misinterpreted or misconstrued I, I'm just really so upset about these lip fillers. Like, Queen has natural beauty, always has. Like, why the hell she had to do that? Like, this don't make no sense. It don't enhance her beauty. It just takes away. Like, her natural beauty was, like, superior. I don't know why she did this. I have a brand. I'm a singer, and, and I don't want to be looked at as, like, that kind of person that uh, maliciously just does things to people. They love that word, don't they? Um, and I also have a family brand. I have a family brand. I have two kids. You know, we got the Royal Family Channel, and I think it's, I have every right to come and clear my name as well, just like everyone else. I need you guys to understand the place I was in when I first ever spoke to Clarence at all. Please let him know, Queen. Um, Please let him know. It's been said a lot and continuously that I cheated, um, and I was doing something sneaky, but truthfully, you guys, of course, I was legally still in a marriage but it was a situation where like my ex Chris was already he had already been moving single like a single man for the longest and I don't know why I keep acting like he wasn't I keep acting like Chris is some saying saying oh you was married you was married Chris wasn't married apparently Chris and all his side pieces wasn't married so why she married let me let her finish though and you guys know that if you follow my story you guys know that after the situation that happened with um, the three girls who came and exposed him for three that whole situation, Clarence is one I man. I like stayed and stuck around. Truthfully, I, I stuck around because, for one, I didn't have my own money to leave. I wasn't prepared to leave. I just didn't have my own stuff. Like my credit was super low. That is very valid. Y'all think she stayed because she weak? I mean. Maybe had a little bit to do with that, but like, really, if you ain't got no money to leave, you you kind of be trapped for a little bit. Like that, that's understandable. It was just so much going on where it made it very hard for me to leave. And plus, you know, we had a son. 
We had fun. Um, so when I messaged Clarence, it wasn't like in a, a sneaky kind of way. But I was in ATL, and this was during Hurricane Harvey. We had went to we had went to Atlanta to escape the hurricane, and um, Chris and me, we wasn't even like really together. We probably did like maybe one video as a group um, when we was like in the house with Janae and them. But see, when people say we wasn't really together, this is what they mean. Meaning they had issues. They wasn't really messing each other. They wasn't intimate. Like they wasn't cool. Like they wasn't on most speaking terms. That they was not cool. She, uh, Leslie and Clarence were not cool. They were not together. They weren't even together physically, like in the same like residence. Y'all wasn't together. Like, we wasn't really together when we went to Atlanta. He was doing his own thing, and I know I knew he was doing his own thing. Um, it was pretty much over to me. Like, I feel like once someone is disloyal, they move single and they move funny and they talk to different people and like they're doing it blatantly where. Leslie, take notes. You know it, and they don't care. It's like at this point. So anyway, when I messaged, why should you? I, I didn't have no intentions or no like. I wasn't plotting like, yeah, I'm about to message him, and then I'm gonna go see him. And you guys, truthfully, I had I think I was scrolling. I seen Clarence on my explore page, and I had seen him before. I clicked on his page, and it was his page. And I was like, oh, this is really his page. And I was just scrolling through, and of course, you know, I thought he was a handsome guy. Um, because I had seen him before and I always thought he was handsome. Um, but I didn't see no girl in his face. That's an undeniable fact. He is handsome. Very valid point. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't see no girl in his face. So when I DM him, it was just... So at this point, who wrong? Clarence ain't have no girl. If she not on your page, you single to the world. And if he moving single and he not even talking to you, y'all not even talking... This man is single, but I digress. I'm let her continue. I know it was like kind of like one of those things where I don't know. Hey, let me just let me just DM this person and see see what's up. Like not in a way to like be sneaky or like ooh, let, I'm about to you know I don't know I don't know honestly truth be told I don't know why I did it. I think because the universe was conspiring. They wanted y'all two to be together. Y'all both had had enough. Y'all both was like beyond ready to walk away. You finally got the courage and the muscles saying, like, you know, I don't need them. I'm going to leave. Clarence said, you know what? I got dreams. I got to go after. That's fate. That's God that said, message that man. He said, hey, reach out. You never know what could happen if you just reach out. And guess what she did? She hit him up in the DMs. I think part of the reason was just because I was just maybe just already feeling down and low and just. I don't know. I wanted to converse with someone else, I guess. You know, that's the honest truth. Because, you know, Chris was doing what he was doing. I just feel, I don't know. I really don't know. But anyway. I really hate that y'all making these people go back and relive the pain they went through. And relive the incidents. Who want to go back and talk about old stuff? I know when I'm talking about old stuff, I'd be like, dang. Y'all conjuring up emotions that I, I ain't want to like even dealt with. I ain't, I ain't dealt with this in years. But here we go. Y'all making people go all the way back. But anyway. Verse, you guys seen the messages Clarence showed it in his past video. Um, the whole three, we, we were talking very just like it wasn't like flirtatious or anything, it was really just talking about what was going on with us. And, um, yeah, as you guys can see, I did tell him, uh, uh I went to detail about what I was going on, but so did he, he went hard, like you know what I'm saying? Like, he said it was getting crazy for him, and I was like, What is it? And then I said, Shit, it's getting crazy for me too. And when he asked, I told him what was going on, like. And I, I didn't mind telling him what was going on just because, I don't know, like, it was already public. It she was already to talk what to. was going on. So I was like, forget it. And I've always been a super transparent person. I can talk to some a stranger, which is kind of bad sometimes. I can talk to a stranger and literally, when they leave, they know so much about me. And I know that's so bad. So, so I want you guys to know that I didn't do that's that. That's therapeutic. To, I don't know, get him to feel bad for me or just try to like, I don't know. I did, I did that with everybody, truthfully. So it's not just Clarence. Um, but... When he told me that he had a girl or whatever, when I was like, you know, you should start YouTube and if you got a girl, you can prank her. And when he told me he had someone, I didn't like try to say, oh, well, actually I was like. And there are receipts to confirm that. Queen got receipts showing it was not malicious. He told me he had a girl and I was rolling with it as in like, hey, show her off, do this. And is that undeniable? Absolutely not because we've seen the thread. 
people? Why isn't she on your page? Like, girls love that. You should put it on your page, like, so people can know. Match it so, up, match it um, up. I don't know. He was saying also right there, it was complicated. Um, and it was complicated with me, too. So, you know, it didn't go no further. Anywho, though, I followed him. And around that... Queen and all these, like, lyric references, she be killing me. She be like, oh, say he's on medicine. Look no further. Girl, you... She is so cute. In time when I follow him, I remember getting a call from Chris. And Chris was like, why you follow him? Like, and I'm just like, what? Like, first of all, why are you even calling me, checking me? Because you're doing what you're doing. Like, you have no... You have no room. Men always be pressed after the fact. Anything. You're moving, like, the way you want to move. I'm going to move how I want to move. And, and, and it wasn't flirtatious. You know, I still was explaining to him, like, it wasn't like that. He said he's going to send us hoodies and all that stuff. And Chris still us. felt intimidated, Damn. I feel like, because he's seen how he looked. He he knew, like, I think I even, like, mentioned. And that's why Chris always trying to come for this dude's height. Because you can't come for his looks. You can't come for how he dress. You can't come for his teeth. He's a well put together man. Uh, you can't come for nothing else but his height. Chris, the only thing that you got over him. Chris, before, because we was, me and Chris would always like just kind of vocal about, we didn't smash your passes together, you know? So like I knew what, who he found attractive and he knew who I found attractive. I, I told him. So he had been knew that. He was like, no, no, fuck that, da da da. Unfollow him. <laughs> Even though I didn't feel like I needed to do that. I did it out of respect because I first of all I didn't want no Oh Queen unfollowed him. We thought it was Chris the whole time. But see, she tried to be respectful. She tried to save her relationship. But do Chris do that in return? Has Chris ever said, hey, if you don't like these girls or I know I mess around with them, I'm gonna unfollow them. I'm I'm talk talking to him. Chris ain't never did no shit like that, but he's trying to control her. Trifling. Well, in the house, we were still living together. I ain't, it's not like I had my own uh, like a lot of money of my own to go take and go move. You know, so I just unfollowed him, I guess, to keep the peace because when it when it got crazy with me and him, it got crazy. And it's a lot of things that you guys don't know that went on behind closed doors. Did he hit you or did he not, sis? Because you ain't never came out and said he hit you. Everybody else did, but he ain't never. But you ain't never came out and like spread the business that he hit you or he did like all this evil stuff to you. I mean, honestly. I would air Chris ass out, but at the same time, that is CJ daddy, and he is a good father to CJ as far as we know. So it's kind of like a damn. I'm I'm gonna spare you, but his karma's already happening. People already people already coming after him. It get, it got crazy. Okay, I'm not gonna say anything, but it AKA, got super crazy. I didn't her. want no trouble. Like when we got back to the same house, I was like, okay, forget it. Um, from that point, when we went back to uh, Houston, we ended up going back together. I don't know, I didn't speak to Clarence anymore because I just, like I said, I ain't, he had a girl, I ain't want no trouble, I ain't want to like drag it on. But, Respectful. Um, as me and Clarence weren't talking, like things got worse and worse between me and Chris. We wasn't having sex, we wasn't sleeping together in the same bed. Exactly. So how does my plot to get pregnant? They just, like I said, it was a heat of the moment type of action. So we ain't had sex in a long time. You kind of like, oh, I got a man such. Like, of course, you know. You give me the best you got. Everybody know. Even though she was not tracking her off because I'm pretty sure she wasn't. But everybody know ovulation sex is the best sex. Am I lying? No. He was going out every night. He was doing what he wanted to. He was sleeping with other girls. It was just kind of like, we was kind of like roommates. You know what I'm saying? And I knew, Ooh. I knew for a fact our relationship was over. He wasn't happy with me. He didn't look like, he didn't want to be with me, you know? Um, Queen, what you trying to say? He didn't love you? Because his show was acting like he didn't love you. He was moving like he didn't love you. It's okay to say that. It's okay. But I felt you, sis. I'm going to say it for you. He was acting like he didn't love you. And we, we feel that. But I was still just, we was kind of just still there just playing like, I was just kind of playing like I was okay with it because like it was nothing else I could really do. Um, Speed it up. Things were getting worse. Um, And one day I was, I think I was scrolling across YouTube and I've seen that Clarence had did a smash your past video. Now once again, fate. She blocked him. She reached out after she got the whisper in her ear to go ahead and reach out. She did it. She blocked him. Well, she unfollowed him and everything. But he popped up again. She's like, oh, let me let me check in on him. It's kind of like a he had to do that. Anyway, yeah. Clarence had talked about him starting a YouTube channel, right? And when I seen he made a YouTube channel, I was like, oh, so he really did it, you know? 
and excited, when I went and watched the supportive. Video, I seen him and um my doing a smash or pass, and I and I didn't even know that my name was in there. I was like, yo, what? Like, and then what he Imagine said, I was like, that. hold on, wait a minute. Like, I got a little offended. I ain't gonna lie. Um, so. I had went to look for him on Instagram and I found out I seen that like I couldn't find him so I went to my block list like yo did I block him and I know I didn't do it so I, in my head I'm like okay I ain't block him I know who did it so Chris I Petty him up, jealous ass and I was like um I think I commented on his story or something you guys seen it something about the socks and slippers or whatever and then he was like he he started talking back to me and I was like yo um what you said, I, I was basically telling him about what he said in the video. Like, that was that was funny. Like, Frank Red, Frank Red Hot. Oh, I'm and he even got to go into detail. You know why? Because we've seen the receipts. Clarence dropped them. We, he, you know, like, just kind of, I don't know, picking at him about what he said. Obviously, at this point, if he's doing a smasher pass on a bunch of girls, including me, I still didn't see no girl on his page. Like, from this, at, wait, wait a minute. Actually, I, I think I watched some more of his videos. Yeah, that's right. I watched some more of his videos besides Smash Pass, and he was like, that he was a single man. He was doing a. And there it is. She could have stopped the video right here. There it is. Clarence said he's a single man to the world, and then she then she shot her shot because I did see the DMs after that point on. Queen did get a little flirty, but let's go hang a team with the timeline. And he's like, he's a single man. So from that point. If a man said he's single, to the world on a public platform, that man single sis ain't nothing that you can say. He's talking about some. We were still together. We were still together. If that man say he's single, he tell the world he's single. That man is a single man. He's a singular man, not a plural. He is not a taken man. He ain't got nothing to do with you and what you do. I said I never had seen who he was with ever before. Never seen a picture of or anything. He said he was single. None of it. I felt like I like I. Nigga, my relationship was over, so I was like, oh, okay, you know. So we started talking. And flirting. Now, when we started talking on Instagram, like, some more, we, it went over to Snapchat. We started talking on Snapchat. And I was still living in that house, but like I said, it felt like I was just a roommate. Like, niggas was moving how they want to move. That's and yeah, awesome. me and Clarence was just conversating, you know? Like, we got a little deeper. We started talking about things that we were going through in, like, our past. Like, I had mentioned to him, like, what I was going through in my relationship. He had mentioned to me Connecting. about... He was talking about how he was going Building through, like, a, friendship. a toxic kind of situation on and off. And, like, we was... At that point, we were talk, com We were, like, confiding each other as friends. We never spoke about sex. We never spoke about anything. And it went from us talking about that to really, like, just falling asleep on the phone every single night. That's another thing I want you guys to know. That's so cute. When you start doing that, y'all like each other. Because men, ain't nobody about to be on the phone all night trying to talk to somebody. They got a, first of all, who going to be on the phone all night if you got a girl? Like Ma said, she made it seem like Queen was over and then she was over or Queen was over. And then when Queen left and he hit her up, she made it seem like that. But a man is not talking to you before you go to sleep. That man is not your man. I didn't just up and fly to New York. Like, oh, yeah, I'm about to come see you. Me and Clarence was talking on the phone, fall asleep on FaceTime every night for a good... FaceTime. For a good, like, I don't know, month and a half or something like that. And, like... That's a lot of time. I don't to see that nigga, too. Honestly, we went on the phone for, like, a month and a half, bonded and falling asleep. Like, that's my man at that point. Like, yeah, I'm going to come see him. Yeah, I'm going to go to, uh, yeah, I'm going to go to New York. Especially because I always want to go to New York. Yeah, but come see that nigga. It made me, it made, it made me like, it made us like, you know, feel for each other a little bit more. I could tell. I could tell. We could tell in the videos too. We was like, all that tension. They, they had a lot of sexual tension between them in them videos. I was just like, they like each other. It was so, it was so hard not to tune in because you could see all that puppy love in between them without them saying it. It was just so, it was so cute and innocent. It's like a. Oh, I know I shouldn't be catching no feelings. I know we're supposed to be doing this just business, but like it's not. But he was a single man at this point. Didn't matter. But that was her man at that point. You wanna phone me on FaceTime every night falling asleep? You are my man. He would he would tell me how he felt like you know, how he felt different about me and things like that. I would tell him the same. So we started developing like a liking for each other and Aww. possibly feelings. 
then we spoke about doing a video. We spoke about doing a video together because we felt like it would be a, a good money move for it one. Was. We already had like fan pages of people collaging our pictures together. Um, it was crazy, man. And like we was like, man, they really like they people kept saying, I ship y'all, I ship y'all, I ship y'all. So I That's the universe saying, if y'all don't get y'all asses together. I done gave you so many clues. I done put y'all together so many times. I got y'all bonded. If y'all asses don't get the fuck together, that's what it was saying. Thinking in my head, you know, this is great for my channel because I need I need to get my money up, you know? Um, I have money with the Chris and Queen channel, but I don't consider that to be my money because when I left, I couldn't even have half of that. Like, I, he, would, he wouldn't even give me half of, of it. And I didn't care. Chris is a, is a fuckboy for that. Chris is so trifling. That's the mother of your child. You over here keeping all the money. That is so selfish. He just let her go out the door and like out bad. Like she was the one cheating. Like she was the one who said, oh yeah, like these my three niggas. And like she was the one in, in the media getting called out for cheating. He did her so wrong. That's so dirty. Hell nah. But once again, this does confirm Clarence's story saying Queen didn't even have money when I met her. Queen did not have money. So was that a fair business transaction? Yes, it was. I said that in my videos. See, I be knowing shit. I said that in my videos. I said that it was a mutual relationship. It was a mutual transaction. It was like, hey, she needed money. She needed uh, another thing for her YouTube. He needed to get introduced to YouTube. It was an e equal exchange. You cannot deny that. Because I was like, listen, I don't want no money or anything. I just really and let me tell you why it's an equal exchange. Because when Queen was with Chris, she was not dressing that nice. Queen was still dressing like she ain't had no money. When she got with Clarence and they started making money, they started dressing better. So, like, uh, yeah, you can clearly see the come up in money. Her hair is different. Like, how she took care of herself is different. Probably some of Clarence is doing, but she also had the money and the means to. You done with this relationship, with this whole thing. Because it, it was draining. Like, talk about draining for years. You know, of course, I smiled on camera. We did what we did for our brand. Business, but that shit maturity. was draining, y'all. And it was a lot, like I said, that happened behind closed doors that you guys do not know about. Um, Queen, just tell us if he hit your ass. Like, you really could end it all, even though you're a nice person. Like, she's very, very nice, but Queen, if he hit you, say he hit you, girl. So, yeah, I was like, yeah, this is a money move. Maybe uh, I come out there and, like, we, we do some videos. First time I went out there, I went with Ari and Vache and Do some other girl. I was scared to go by myself. I know what was like, I know, like, we had talked on the phone, but I was still scared. It was New York. I didn't want to go by myself. But I had still made plans to, uh, you know, go see him for the first time in person. And we didn't do a video that time, but we did see each other. I went back home. I mean, I went back to Houston. I was living with Armand and Trey by this time. I was working on my videos. I was just trying to get my that. Up. Listen, I was trying to leave. I was trying to get my own apartment. I was going to get my apartment in Houston. Actually, I think me and Ari were talking about moving in together. Um... Very bad not chiming in on situation. New York the second time, we chose to do our first video together. I had met his sister Lee, who had helped me out with a situation um, with medicine because I had released medicine on YouTube, which Clarence also encouraged me that I should release it on. On. I remember his first like earlier videos when he was talking about uh, Chris. He's basically saying he had her down bad. Basically saying like you know. She wasn't going to do music no more. And he was, like, really distraught, saying, you're not going to do music no more. Like, I remember him saying that. And you know what? It's all adding up. Leslie's story ain't adding up, but this is all adding up. I remember Clarence said that. I also remember Clarence saying, too, that if he even, like, lifted his hand a little bit, like, Queen was flinching. So, Queen, did this man hit you or not, sis? Because he was just like, you know, you should just go ahead with it. Like, this is, like, a new beginning for you. And I was like... Yeah, but I, I was scared because I knew once I released medicine, y'all, I could never go back to Chris. I was like, well, once I do this, it's done. Like, because nobody knew that Chris had cheated again. I kept that secret because I didn't want to look stupid. You know, I didn't want to look stupid all over again. Like, damn, Ooh. people going to say, I told you so. Um, and I just, I just didn't want to. So when people started asking, like, why aren't you doing a video for Chris no more? Like, why are you at Trey Armand's house? Like, I didn't want to say it because I felt stupid. I felt so dumb. Like, damn, I really stayed. I was dumb. And we can understand so that. I, I made a song. I made medicine, you know? Anyway, Clarence. She made a hit. That's she made. It. It. New Year's. Da -da -da. I released it. That happened. Somebody stole my song, put it on Apple, would get money for it. So I met Lee. Lee was a businesswoman. 
Um, and she helped me out. Like, she helped me out a lot. Then we started talking business. And I was like, yo, could you go through my emails? You know, I don't, I don't go through my emails or anything like that. I don't know about labels. And she she, uh, she used to be a manager of uh, back in the day of Nap Root. So, like, she had some experience in that. Um, I kept extending my New York trip when I was out there. I kept extending it because... She was having fun. It felt so good to be there. I felt so... And we can't blame you. You having fun. You're in the presence of a fine man. You're in the presence of a sister who's helping you with your, your music and your label and, like, basically your business. Like, how could you want to leave? Why would you want to leave? Like, I see... Remember the videos she was at his high school? She was having a good-ass time. Why go back home? Why deal with Chris bitch ass? Exactly. I had a friend out there that, like... I really still consider him my friend. Even if I had had a crush on him or liked him, I still consider him my friend. Because we, we told each other literally, like, anything. Like, if he was... Clarence said that. Clarence said we talk about things that most people don't even talk about. Like he said, it's so transparent. Clarence said that. It's adding up to me. And to another girl or text another girl, I didn't really care. Even if I did like like him, I didn't care because we were not committed to each other. You know what I'm saying? I did not care. I wasn't like one of those kind of girls that trying Maturity. to force me. Like, what are we? What, what are we doing? Like, only talk to me. I wasn't like that. Like, and I feel like that's why he was super cool with me too because I was not forceful on him. I never forced anything. But... And you know who was? Leslie. Leslie was checking him by every little thing. Clarence couldn't shit and pee. She was like, are you shitting without me? Are you shitting with some other bitches? That's how Leslie was. Exactly. This is more up his alley, up his speed. I do feel like the more and more we got to know each other and, and be together, you know, he felt my vibe. He got to know me more. He looked at me as a different person. I, I wasn't the girl that he's seen um, on the Smash and Pass challenge. He, he said I had a bad outfit or whatever, but whatever. Also, the camera don't do me justice. This camera's not doing me justice. I look way better in person. Just let y'all know. The people... I beg to differ. You look really good on camera, Queen. Your skin is glowing. It's even. It's, your makeup looks nice. I'm not proud about your lip fillers. But other, otherwise, you look good, Queen. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know I don't know what she be seeing. See, that's her problem. She don't know what she be seeing. Queen is beautiful. Queen looks like nobody we've ever seen. Name an artist that Queen look like. Name anybody on YouTube that look like Queen. Queen is one of a kind, truly. I see me in person can vouch for it. But, like, he was feeling my vibe. I could tell. I knew it. I was feeling his vibe. And we just, like, we still was keeping it, like, we still was friends, you know? Um, friends with feelings building. So, the situation, like, with his ex, you know, I knew... I was aware that he was still getting over a five-year relationship. That's understandable because I was too. I'm not gonna lie. When I finally signed the divorce paper, the, the bleh, when I finally signed the divorce papers um, with Chris after seeing him, I'm not gonna lie. I sat in the car and I cried. And Lee was right there next to me. I did. I cried because like it's not that I it's it's not that I like wanted to be with him. It was also like a feeling of like. Damn, five years down the drain, what's gonna happen next? Oh, they both had a five year relationship? This is, oh my God. I done said this like a million times. Can you say fated encounter? Can you say a match made in heaven? Can you say destiny fulfilled? Like, I know that that relationship was toxic, but that's, he's all I do. Like, I'm really like, you know. They are the same people, literally. Wasn't Clarence going to the same thing? Didn't Clarence basically say, like, my high school girl was, like, a high school crush? Like, this is, like, my real girlfriend, Le Leslie. Toxic. Toxicity is all they knew. So when they had each other, who Clarence so cool, calm, collected, know how to talk to her. Queen is not pressing him like the other people. Look, how can y'all hate this couple? How can y'all hate this relationship? Really, truly, how can you? They're beautiful. They, it's meant to be. I'm really going through my head like, dang. You know, but I know, I knew for a fact I didn't want to go back because it was so unhealthy and it was so toxic. And it only broke me down the more and more I stayed. Physically, emotionally, mentally, it broke me down being in that marriage. Well, she said you know? back to my life. Um, and I'm sure you guys could tell by just in my personality. And when Clarence met me and seen me, it's like he brought something new out of me. And he wanted to make me feel good. I want...
Because she used to be so shy, carrying that blanket around her chest and everything. Always had a jacket on, trying to hide herself. Like, Queen was so shy and so prim. And look at her now. Look at this phoenix that has risen from the ashes. It can feel good, too, because from what I was told, that was a very toxic situation for him as well. You know? And I understood. I understood, man. Like, you can't... Let's get into the queen real quick. Y'all see how classy this woman is? She has not put this other woman down not once. She has not said, you was a crazy bitch. You was doing all this. Queen is still keeping it classy. Queen is still letting people know, like, I just feel so bad. Like, this is how you supposed to handle it, Leslie. Like, how can you hate Queen? Queen is a phenomenal woman. I agree with Clarence. Queen, Queen got it. To get over someone that you love for five years. I totally get that. But at the same time, us bonding and confiding with each other only made us kind of closer, you know? Um, obviously, we did things. I got pregnant. I didn't plan to get pregnant. I wish you would have repeated this. Y'all hear this? I hope Leslie's watching this. I'm pretty sure Leslie's watching this and all her friends is watching this and her mama who's not so proud about what's happening. I know her mama's watching this too. Did you hear that? She did not plan to get pregnant. Five years down the drain, she 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 upset. She's sad too. She ain't planning to get pregnant. I hope you got your closure, Leslie. Um, I don't check my ovulation. I never did. Period. Who does? Who checks their fucking ovulation? I can't believe she said that shit. Thank you, Queen. Thank you for clearing up that you don't check your ovulation and don't nobody really do that shit. Okay. I don't know. I just never did that because one, I had a That's crazy. bad miscarriage the year before. Terrible miscarriage, y'all. I lost so much blood, I thought I was going to die. And who said that? Who said that in a previous video? I want to ask y'all, who said that? Because I sure did say that. Like, she sat there and just negated and forgot about the whole entire fact that Queen lost a child. Queen is not perfect either. You tell us, oh, I might not be able to have children. Uh, You think Queen... I said it in my last video. That was so insensitive. And this is just proving once again. I thought that something was wrong with me. I thought, like, maybe, okay, maybe I can't. Maybe I can have kids. And the only reason why I thought that was because even when I got pregnant with CJ, I was having unprotected sex for a very long time. And it took me a while to get pregnant. Truthfully, before CJ, I can't confirm if it was a miscarriage or not. But I remember one day feeling the pain so deep. I lost so much blood. And I don't know what it came from. I never confirmed if it was a miscarriage or not. It could have been. And then I was having unprotected sex more. I got pregnant with CJ after oh, two man. years. Had complications with CJ. Me and CJ could have died. CJ's heart rate was going down. My heart, like, it was just like, I didn't know. So I was like, mm, I'm scared to have kids. I had to have a C-section with him. Then in my marriage, you know, I was still doing things. And I never got pregnant. I was like, okay, maybe I just can't, I don't know, maybe just, I, I don't know. And see, Leslie, Leslie tried to make this about her, make it about her not being able to help, not being able to bear children, but Queen was in the same position. So I wonder how Leslie feels now. I wonder which, how she's going to bounce back from this. It's like, how do you feel now hearing the story of, I might have lost two kids, not just the one that we knew about, I might have lost two kids. I Possibly could have died when I had CJ. He talks about, oh, I was a, a woman who already had kids. I was an experienced woman. Yeah, she experienced, but she's also a traumatized woman. Like, that is just so crazy. But you still see how this delivery is. Queen did not resort to tears to make us be on her side. Queen speaking her truth and her truth only. Like, this is a moment to cry. This is a moment to break down. Like, I didn't even know if I could have kids. I didn't even know. Like, I thought I was going to die. This is a moment to cry. Not that, oh, I'm crying because y'all don't believe me. Like, this is... This is a, a, a beautiful video. Like, this video, I hope this, make, this is probably what made Leslie cry even more. Like, honestly, this is a video to cry on. That video that Clarence made, that was hurtful, but this is a, a video that hurt, too. It's kind of like a, everything that you thought you knew, everything that, the, that you thought was true and you told yourself is dead. Like, you was just crazy. And you, pro, you show the whole world that you're fucking crazy. Then I got pregnant. I had a miscarriage. Okay, so I'm thinking in my head, maybe like my body is just rejecting kids. Like maybe CJ was just my miracle baby. You know what I'm saying? And the crazy thing is I, when I had that miscarriage, bro, 
something in me told me it just wasn't meant. It just wasn't meant. I be saying that all the time. Like sometimes when you having like fertility problems, it ain't you. Sometimes you can't see what's happening behind the scenes. You don't know what forces are acting on your behalf, such as, hey, I'm not about to get you caught up with another baby because it's already hard for you to leave because you so attached to this man because he gave you your first child. But if you have another one, it's going to be impossible for you to leave. So I'm protecting you. See, exactly. Some things just ain't meant to be. And I'm pretty sure if Leslie probably tried to go have a baby, I don't even know if they even tried to have a baby. Apparently, Clarence said they weren't trying to have a baby, but like, exactly. Sometimes it's not just you. It's about the situation. And it's about, could this be a more worse situation if I give you this? See, exactly. It's so crazy because, it's so crazy because I don't need, I, I seen a video of, like last year, I seen a video of me saying something about the name Legend. I seen a Facebook post of me saying, man, I just keep seeing the name Legend everywhere. And if I say this word one more time, I was like, fate. Whoa, this is crazy. It's like I was like manifesting, or I was just like, I seen signs. I lost the baby, but I was still seeing the name Legend everywhere. It was so weird, you guys. Um, and then fast forward, I meet Clarence and I get pregnant. I did not think I was gonna get pregnant. Truthfully, I didn't think Clarence Clarence thought Clarence was telling me he thought his soldiers in March. Hold on. So if he thought his soldiers in March, were they trying for a baby? So did he now mean that impossible meant like I was trying to give her a baby, but it wasn't working? Now I'm confused. Now I'm lost. Like, so you tried to make your soldiers march once before, but it just wasn't marching. It just wasn't destiny. Oh my gosh. He thought that it didn't march because he had never had a pregnancy scare with any girl. So on my end, I'm like, okay, well, she Never mind. I digress. <laughs> we we fine. I think some we slipped up one time. I never got pregnant. So I was like, oh, okay. That was our business. So we wasn't going to tell nobody that. Like, of course, people probably read into it and seen it. But by that time, Clarence was a single man. We were not committed to each other. We still had a very close friendship, but just doing grown people things. Friends with benefits, except I don't know. they only benefit with each other happened on the other side of that but all I know is like I was very understanding I never I never planned anything out I never maliciously moved or tried to take someone's family away or you know I never did that like I, I'm not that kind of girl I'm not that kind of person because like I said I know how it feels I never did anything to her I would never do anything just to hurt another woman we believe if you if anything I was just going off of what I felt. I couldn't help my feelings. And me and Clarence, we, we, I think we told a story on how like we, we first told each other we love each other. It was, it was crazy because like he even felt crazy saying it because he was just like, he was just like, man, this is so crazy. I was just in a, a whole five year relationship, but it feels like I've known you like so, like so long, you know, like it feels like, I don't know why I feel like I love you. Like, and I felt the same. I was like, Clarence, I feel like I love you, too. This is so cute, y'all. I'm a sucker for, like, sad and romantic movies. Like, this is, this is so freaking cute. It's, it just happened. Nobody even meant for that to happen. You know what I'm saying? Yes, like, they did. Him up there. I'm pretty sure, though, like, when you keep hanging with people, like, I don't know. I just, truth, truth be told, I thought we were going to do our video. Do some more videos. Get a bag. I thought it was going to be business too, you know, and then kind of like fade away. That's what I really thought, but it turned out to be different. No, nah, it's it time to build an empire. And I really cannot help that. And I really would never, it's not in me to be like, yeah, I'm going I'm to take, I'm a, I wasn't even thinking about his ex. I wasn't even thinking about, you wouldn't you know, have thought. Like, I didn't know her. You was not about oh, him. about was the relationship that me and him was building. We was always very honest with each other too. We still to this day are very honest with each other about our past and how we feel about certain things. Like we just got that kind of relationship. Like we're friends too till this day. We're still friends. Anything that was said before 
um, I don't know, by his mom or whatever. She didn't know me. So I get it. I completely get it. She didn't know me at all. And I was this new girl coming in. I had a kid already. She probably like, yo. That makes a whole lot of sense. Because I looked at my son like, Harper, who this woman? Who is this lady coming in? You know what I'm saying? And she already knew his ex for five years. So they probably had a relationship. And I understand that. You know, that's completely normal. I get that. But as she got to know me more and the kind of girl that I was, her love grew for me as well. She loves me now. She loves me. You hear that, Leslie? I know Leslie heard this, but I'm going to ask one more time in case you see my video. You hear that? She loves her now, too. Where's your edge that you got? That, oh, your mother loved me. She loved Queen, too, now. So, like, what? What you got next? She loves me and she loves both of my kids. And she always tells me how appreciative she is of me, how I love her son, the way I love her son. She's thankful. I don't, I don't put Clarence, I don't try to put Clarence, I try to be as easy going as possible with Clarence. I can deal with him, I can handle him. I know what kind of man he is. He's a great man, but I know how to deal with Clarence. I know how to deal with him, and, and I just, I don't know, I get him, you know? He gets me. So... What more did you ask for? I don't know. That's just my side, man. I just, that's that's my side. I feel better because I got to clear, clear, um, I don't know, my name. I don't, I don't know, shit. Like, maybe people won't even believe me. Maybe people will still be like, Queen, yeah, you still wrong. You knew what you were saying. Truthfully, I don't care what you guys are saying because I know my heart, you know what I'm saying? As and you should and Clarence, I feel like our relationship speaks for itself we're very genuine it was genuine it was nothing maybe it started off something different but it ended up something different and that's just life and that just happens and sometimes you can't help it and truthfully who knows maybe like even if me and Clarence don't even end up together forever things happen things happen in life but it was never to hurt nobody bro Queen so poised. That's the difference between Leslie and Queen. Queen keeps saying, it's not even about what I'm promised or what I want myself promised. I, I want a ring, but even if I don't make it to that, like my love is not going to change. My actions are not going to change. I'm not going to press you just because I want you to act a certain way. That's unconditional love. That's love that deserves a ring. That's love that's built to last. It was never to, to take anything away from anyone. I'm all for women. Like, I I make women empowerment songs. Like, I make songs about stuff. So, I, the fact that people are saying, oh, you a homewrecker, and how could you do that when you went through the same thing? Y'all just got to understand the place that I was in from my point of view. I wasn't going through her. Like, I, I, I'm not her. She's not me. We, were, we had different, a different view of life at the time. But I'm a very genuine person, bro. Like, I don't have nothing against nobody. I don't I, I don't have nothing against nobody at all. And I just wanted to come on here and say that for myself. Um, hope you guys can understand where I was coming from at the time. And we're happy. We have a son together. I don't want him to grow up and see certain things. I don't even want CJ to grow up and see certain things, but I know he's already starting to read. Um, I'm going to have to explain to him one day, and if Legend sees everything else, you know, he's we're going to have to explain it to him. I don't want them to think of us as, like, bad people. Like, life just happens, and I apologize to anybody that may feel like I was moving funny, but I wasn't. I wasn't. It just happened. So, with that being said, I'm going to go back downstairs and get to my interviews. I have a lot of promo to do, mad promo. Um, I think we can stop it right there. Look, ain't even really much to speak on. I mean, Clarence dropped receipts. Clarence's timeline made sense. With Queen's story and how she explained it with her um, divorce and then she even had people that she confided in and called on. Like, if we bring Ari to the stand and we bring uh, 
clearing sister to the sand, it all matches up. It's all going to make sense. But who can Leslie call on and be like, oh, Clarence was like this. Clarence did me like this. Or it was just so bad. It's more of her pointing fingers. She had no facts. We're, she ain't dropped no receipts. She ain't dropped no facts. She ain't dropped no witnesses. She ain't got nothing. Because honestly, like, she was reaching. She reached from the beginning. But I don't even want to talk about that anymore. I want to talk about simply the facts. And simply the facts are Queen and Clarence's timeline matches up. Queen told her story with poise. If Queen was in the courtroom, Queen would win. Queen did not fold. Queen was genuine about her approach. Queen was genuine about her actions. And Queen was genuine in speaking her truth. Now, another thing I want to point out too is Queen has not switched up throughout all of this. Between how she acted with Chris, between how she was acting in between time with Chris, between how she's with Clarence, Queen's character has never faltered. It has never shifted. Now, let me tell you about Leslie. When we first met Leslie, she came off all innocent. I was like, oh, yeah, like, I just want to clear my name. I just like want to make sure like it's, everything's all good. She came off so sweet and innocent. Her next video, she came off more petty, more like sassy, more like you can start seeing the vindictiveness coming out. Coming out some, oh, it's how she came out talking about some, oh, that was the obvious. Like her pettiness just start coming out, her, her little sassiness. I'm just like, where's this person coming from? Then her latest video, well, not her latest because you know she made a lot, but her... Her latest video of her like crying, she turned into the victim. She turned into someone so highly emotional. And she turned into someone who was pointing fingers. She had no like facts. She turned into like a kid that basically was like, No, I know I didn't lie. Just trying to like say anything so she don't get a whooping. That's what she turned into. It's just kind of like a you know, showed us three different personalities already. And then let me tell you about her fourth personality. Her personality of no, I'm fine. You knew she was hurt. We seen all of her faces, she was hurt. But you know, she came and told the world, I'm fine, I'm not hurt. And she's like, girl, we clearly see you hurt. She looked like, she looked like one of them kids on the playground, trying to play with the big kids, trying to seem cool, falling from like the top of the uh, slide or whatever, almost broke her arm. And they're like, oh, you okay, you good? And she's sitting there looking like, I'm fine. You know, deep down, she want to cry. Like, we done seen four different personalities of Leslie, four. We seen one queen. We seen one Clarence. We have seen four different Leslies. So, given that fact in general, I believe Queen's side and I believe Clarence's side because it's solid, the timelines match up, they drop evidence, and also, they didn't change. They're not trying to change the personality and make us believe them. They're not trying to sway us onto their side. It's just like, a, I spoke my truth and nothing but the truth, and that's all I got for you. And how can you deny that? Leslie was trying to manipulate us, but also, Leslie told... A whole bunch of lies like you know queen knew he's in relationship or like oh we were together like so many timelines and so many facts say and show they were not together so given that fact leslie did the most leslie is not credible and leslie came on here for clout it's summed up maybe they staged this because honestly clarence and queen ain't really had like no like juicy drama like this it might have been like oh he used her clout or like oh he might have cheated but like he proved once that he didn't cheat. Also about um, him using her for clout. They used to jail for clout, obviously. And I said that, you know. But the only culprits, the only people that have been changing over the internet is Chris and Leslie. And guess who are the toxic ones? Them two. So if they want to get together and conspire, I mean, they are match made in heaven. They cut from the same cloth. So if they want to do that, that's fine. But... I do truly honestly believe that Chris is just jumping in this anyway because he wanted a bag. Everybody just trying to get their bag up. So Chris jumped into it to get his bag up. But Chris also jumped into it because Chris is a nice person. Chris only fight with, I feel like Chris only fight with Clarence mainly because it gets him clout. It gets him energy. And also Clarence make money off of it too. It's like a win-win for both of them. So him jumping in with Leslie, all it's going to do is help her, but it helps him too. So it's going to be a lot to talk about. So Chris is in this for himself, but also to be a good person to help Leslie get up there because Chris don't give a fuck about nothing. Chris really just acts. He don't think before he acts. He just acts. So Leslie, in a clout circle, what you gonna do with it? And that's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Thank y'all for supporting me. Hit that subscribe button. Meet me in the comments. Let's talk about this. Let's, let's decipher it. Let, what you seen that I didn't see? What you think that I didn't touch on? Let me know. Let's talk about it. And See you on the next video.